We might all be familiar with the Yiga schematic for the tank. Well, in this video, we are going to show you where to get the body of the tank so we can make a custom lifted tank, a monster truck tank. And it's going to look like this beast right here. So let me show you where to get the body for the tank. There is a abandoned hideout for the Yiga clan right near this light route. This is where we will find the body for the tank. So let's head over to the light route and once we get there we will need to look on the map to get our bearings. It looks like it's a little bit back and to the right. So let's head over that direction and we're going to have to climb the wall. There is a couple Zonia things here we could put together and possibly fly up there, but I have a lot of stamina and I just think it's a lot easier to climb. And if you don't have a lot of stamina, you can get some Enduro carrots and boost your stamina. Once we get up here, we will see the abandoned hideout from the Yiga clan. So let's head over there and check out what we have. Because it's abandoned, you don't need to worry about any clan members here to attack you. And over here to the left, you will find your pieces that you will need. Now this is your main body. On the regular tank, the tires are just connected to the axles. Well, today we're gonna modify it slightly so we can have a monster truck style tank. And of course, you can modify it however you want, but this is a good video to show you where the body location is for the tank so you can customize it. I'm using these springs so I can have some suspension and gives the tank some lift. And I always like to fasten the tires with the spring engaged. If it's not engaged, when you fasten the tires to the spring, it fastens it to the body and that's not what we want. We want it to be fastened to the top part of the spring. Now with it all put together, remove the stake only, because if you remove any of the parts, the whole thing will just fall apart. So remove the stake, and here is your tank, your lifted tank. So let's head up top of it and put a steering wheel on it so we can steer it. If you just want a cool lifted truck, this is the truck for you, but if you want to add a little bit of flair to it, we're going to head over to an abandoned mine, the abandoned Lorlin mine. There are other locations that you can get some Yiga clan spare parts, but this is the one I know of and this is the one I'm going to be using for this video. So once we get to this light route, we're going to head up top here and go to the abandoned Lorlin mine. And straight ahead, you will find the parts that we're looking for. And you can see here the parts that they have available to use. And of course, I want to use the spikes. Because who doesn't want a monster truck that has spikes on it? So let's auto build the last thing in the history that we made, which is the monster truck. And we'll add some spikes to it. Yeah, I think this looks a lot better. So let's get up top this, take it for a quick spin around the depths. Oh, and I should mention, because of the springs, you have two options with this vehicle. You can have a rough ride or you can have a springy ride, whatever you prefer. So let's head over to Terrytown and check this out in the daylight. We're going to auto build this using other parts around the area, but we're going to take this for a spin. Here you can see that I have it in the springy mode, so you can see the bounce. It's a little higher in this mode because the springs are engaged, um, but if you don't like the bouncy ride, then you have to disengage this and then re-engage it, just like that. And now we have a stiffer ride. If this is the ride you like, this is the ride for you. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment below. Let me know if you're going to use this Yiga clan body for the tank in one of your builds. If you do, leave a comment. Let me know. Let me see the video if you make one. 